All right, so good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another day of the split mod. Today, we're back to carry on with our little adventure. And I think we'll start today's episode by taking on Insurgent one more time. Now, in the last episode, which was kind of an episode and a half episode as well, because I kind of I botched it right at the start, we did do Insurgent, but we found out that there are two other pieces of armor that we can collect. So we got the possessed breastplate and also the possessed leggings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way through the fight once it hits nighttime and kind of go from there. So we have been, you know, we've been building up a little bit of a, of a melee build. And I think with the new armor, we might change it up a little bit. But I've been seeing comments about a new, uh, like, tennis racket. One that's really good. Apparently powerful enough for Seth. Um, actually, do you know what? Before I forget about it, let's have a little look at what that's called. So it's called the Terror Racket thing. So it's an upgrade to the Rib Racket with Elements of Life, Chlorophyte Bars, and Wild Petals, which drop from Honey and these little clam things. All right, well, tell you what, let's go down and see if we have enough Wild Petals because I remember I did go and farm some not too long ago. Um... But yeah, have we got any more? Wild petals. No, we got five. All right. So we, we've got a bit of a plan of action. This is good. Uh, I think there's also a um, a bag to go with it. Let me double check that. I think it's um, an upgrade to the yo-yo bag. What's it called? Uh, badminton bag. So it's the ball pouch, which we do have, and a tough glove. So I don't know where to get the tough glove from. I want to assume that that is probably some kind of chest loot. So yeah, we'll go from there. Now, in the last episode, I had a little bit of trouble finding the um, the animated mythical cog or whatever it's called. Um, so apparently, I meant to use the cog to make a new thing that will set me up right. And basically, I thought it was in the chest, but apparently not. It actually spawns on the ground. Now, apparently... Not every single world has it. Is this one locked? Or did I... I don't know. I remember finding that. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I, I find it. So apparently if not, you can do some like crazy fishing to get it. I'll be honest. <laughs> I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna bother with that. We'll just... I'll tell you what we'll do. If we can't find one legit, we'll, we'll cheat one in. But yeah, welcome back. Hope you all had an amazing weekend. Um, it's Tuesday today. I was going to record it yesterday, but I ended up getting, like, super busy. Um, but, good news, I'm now fully vaccinated, that's right. And, honestly, with no real side effects, which is great. All I, I feel a little bit groggy, but to be honest, that's, that's, a, that's a regular mood for me. So, I'm alright. Right, I'm going to wait until night time, and then we'll do uh, Insurgent once again. Oh yeah, so before I forget, there is also uh, one extra thing that we can make now that uh, we've killed Insurgent, and apparently it's a, a set of wings. Now, truth be told, I remember getting the feather, and I remember looking at the feather in my inventory, uh, but I completely forgot to, like, actually properly look at it. So, um, so yeah, we do have the feather. We are definitely going to make it, which is good. And also, a bit of an update, um, so for a couple of days now, I've been debating what Let's Play will come next, uh, mainly because we're in a bit of a weird spot. You know, we have the Alpha Edition of Team Mod Loader 1.4, um, and not too many mods for it. Now, I had in my mind that I didn't want to Let's Play Team Mod Loader 1.4 until they could capture the true magic of 1.4, which is in fact the wind. That's right. And I'm serious. I didn't want to play Modded 1.4 until they could implement wind back into the game because it just doesn't feel right 1.4 without wind is like the breakfast of champions without a day a day of going stale all right that's what it's like uh, but i checked it out last night and it has wind so the the team are already making great progress and i don't mind being a bit of an alpha tester <laughs> here on youtube so i do think the next series whether it be flawed or not will be 1.4. So I'm pumped about that. All right, anyway, let me focus on this fight. Right, so... Oh, God. I was just about to say, this is getting pretty, like, neck and neck. Pretty tense. Uh, we did not do it. We failed. Um, well, <laughs> do you know what I learned from my failure? In 
Insurgents too long. It's too long. Too long. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's um. Let's let's go get the petals instead. Hey, look at that. Um, a shoddy dragon. Fifty percent chance to shoot explosive bullets. Shoots meteor bullets instead of normal during the night. Ah, very fancy. Okay. Well, I like this. <laughs> I'm game for this. I think that's quite cool. We did also... We got beetle husks as well. So we could have really made beetle armor. Let's see what the um, what the hatchet turns into. Uh, the warfare. Wow. So that is lunatic cultist. Element of pain is insurgent. Very nice. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm going to go farm for some petals. Then we'll make the terror racket. Actually, do you know what? I reckon that uh, terror thing. I reckon that needs the, the new forge, doesn't it? No, it just needs a stone of inspiration. All right. I'll go grab these uh, these petals. Right. So it turns out the, the tough glove comes from uh, the collector. Now, did we buy this? I tell you what. Do you know what's good? Okay, we didn't buy this. I have the Wikipedia open next to me, so I can see when this became available. So it became available in hard mode, and this one creates a damaging aura on contact. Ooh, I like it. I do like it, especially because, I mean, I love a good modded yo-yo. For those who don't know, for those that haven't been around a little while, uh, back in the day, I did a big yo-yo series in vanilla, and then I, I'm pretty sure I did one kind of like Melee Pseudo Yo-Yo in Calamity. And then I did the big uh, modded Yo-Yo one where I got every single Yo-Yo from Forium. I think Calamity as well. One series. Oh, I loved that. I did. I loved it. Great series. All right. Anyway. Um, so what's the, what's the glove thing called? Um, <laughs> I, I, I Honestly, this sprite cracks me up so bad. It's so bad. For those who don't know, I've told the story a million times. But basically, I was in a Skype call with a good friend uh, who I used to play Terraria with. And he was like, they should add the Power Glove to Terraria. And the joke was that the Power Glove was based on the Nintendo Power Glove, like the really shoddy controller. So our other friend was doing artwork for Terraria at the time. And, uh, and we said to them, we were like, can you put this idea forward? And they were like, yeah, sure, no problem. And this is what we got. It's so shoddy. The sprite is, is goofy. Right. Um, okay, what was it called? Oh, sorry. It's called the bag, wasn't it? Bag. What's it called? The badminton bag. So ball pouch and a tough glove. Okay, right. So badminton bag. Craft. Bam. Awesome. Okay, right. <laughs> now we've got to figure out what we replace. I would just say the star bale for now. I think... I. I think that's probably fine. Uh, so, yeah, the, the terror racket. I can't make it. Why can't I make it? What am I missing? Oh, chlorophyte bars. Really? Okay, all right. Bar. How much do I have? <laughs> Not very much at all. That's fine. Okay, terror racket. Bam. A hey, ruthless. Amazing. So, it is melee. Flowers release. Wait, let me read it properly. Summons four daisy flowers which can be tossed. Flowers release colorful petals. Right click to slash without creating a ball. So there you go. So it's also a melee weapon. But look at that. I love that. Oh, it's really cool. So actually, <laughs> going back to it. Oh, I love that. Oh, yeah, that is really sick. That's really sick. Yeah, I genuinely love that. Right. Um, What was the, the feather thing called? Uh, The ethereal feather. Okay, let's see. So, Ethereal Feather, probably mixed with Souls of Flight, I'd imagine. Yeah, so the Malish... <laughs> Malasite? <laughs> I was going to say something else, <laughs> but all right. Malasite Wings. All right, let's 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 see. Do I have any Souls of Flight? Souls of 12. That is a shame. <laughs> that is a real shame. Okay, I tell you what, we'll get the, the Souls of Flight first. Uh, and then, do you know what I was going to look at? I was going to look at Insurgent uh, to see what the what the armor was again. Because I can't remember what it is. Oh, it's Melee and Summon. That's kind of worth getting. But now I'm kind of dedicated to the, to the Terror Racket. I kind of just want to use Melee. So I'm kind of flip-flopping on that one a little bit. Um, right, let me grab uh, a Grav. 
and a battle potion. So for those with, with very good hearing, or for those that like listen on very good headphones, all right, not a not a speaker from your phone, you can probably still tell by the way, it's it's pretty echoey in this room. Uh, I haven't actually got my, my furniture yet, but it has been ordered. So I think it's meant to come in about a week or two. So I'm getting it all together, right? I've got a, a TV stand that's going in. I've got a sideboard that's honestly just there for storage. And I've got a couch. And then I'm going to put up my acoustic phone. So yeah, in about two weeks, oh, it's going to sound bliss. Right now, though, it's so echoey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> probably every single person in the house can hear me. Do you know what I mean? It's that bad. All right, probably probably people next door can hear me. But something I am excited about today, uh, I ordered a treadmill. I've wanted to own a treadmill since I was a very early teenager. <laughs> I've always wanted to have one because gyms are expensive. They're pricey. And I'm only really interested in, in running. And I don't like running outside. I know. So I've ordered that. That comes Friday. So I'm very pumped about that. Definitely trying to make some, some better lifestyle changes. Especially like, I don't know, just years of sitting down at a desk. It's not good for me. <laughs> I'm probably in the worst shape of my life. <laughs> so I'm really, really excited for it. Oh no. Oh, actually, should we do this? Go on then. I usually hate the Martian Madness event. But in the, the interest of mods, I feel like I have to, to check it out. Alright, Martians are invading. So I think what's going to happen is once we go back to the spawn point, they're going to pop in, I think. Anyway, I'll chill out here for a... Oh, there you go. For a wyvern. Oh, that is powerful. Oh, my God. That's really good. That's got to be the... Obviously, it makes sense considering it's late game. But that's got to be the best thing we've had so far, hasn't it? I mean, that is... That's popping. Tell you what. Before we do Martian Madness, let me buy... As many potions as possible. Because I really genuinely do hate Martian Madness. I'll take Endurance. I'll take Life Force. I'll take I'll take all of them. Give me them all. Just give me like a... a you know, blend them all together. Give me a slushy. <laughs> it reminds me of... I've seen so many pictures of um, people with like uh, tubs of multivitamins. You know, the, the gummies or whatever. It's more of an American thing than a British thing. Anyway, if it, if it melts together, you just get one giant one. And then you've got to commit at that point. You've just got to, you know, nibble a little bit off the side. That's how I want my uh, Terraria buffs presented to me. The Martian Sorcerer is no longer after you. Well, that's good. All right. So I think making wings has been put on the back burner for two minutes. But I don't think that's a bad thing. The good thing is, because we've got them all spawning down here, we can actually teleport back up to to the home and, uh, and, and to, like, heal a little bit. But this ain't bad. This ain't bad. Oh no, the, the tinker is the tinker is perished. <laughs> maybe the cloth ear will too. All right, maybe we'll get a new cloth ear. Let me get in some summons actually. So yeah, I'll just I'll crack on with this. <laughs> this this could go on for a while. Oh, so I should say actually, uh, getting furniture has actually been a lot easier than I expected, and I imagine this place is going to be pretty like fit and finish pretty shortly so i'll probably be able to do like an actual furnished house tour because i know everybody wants to see it and stuff i didn't really have chance to do the the empty one like i said we didn't have a uh, curtains or blinds <laughs> so so it would have been like a big privacy issue but we should have curtains and blinds and all that sorted out and furniture within like a short few weeks and then i'll do uh i'll do a full tour then i think that's probably better to be honest and then you can see a little bit of my personality shining through in my furniture. Probably not going to happen. Like, it's <laughs> just going to be random. Just random wood furniture. It'll be fine. Right. Martian saucer. Honestly, not too bad with this. Oh, I hate the Martian saucer so bad. <laughs> I really do. I hate it in this um, version especially. Oh, my God. Please don't kill me. There we go. All right. Give me all that. Oh, man. We got the, we got the bomb drop. That's the best one. Cosmic car key. Hell, yeah. Chaos is beaming right now. For those who don't know, I actually said this to Chaos. I don't know if, he, if he's spoken about this. Oh no, he's upgraded now. He uses something else. But back in the day, I was talking about my dislike for the Cosmic Car Key. How I don't really care about it. And he was like, nah, man. He was like, that's the best builder's tool. Shows how much I, I love building, right? <laughs> they even know the right tools. Talking about building, though, I managed to, to mount a TV in my bedroom. Very proud of myself. I did not mess it up at all. So that was good. I was very, very nervous about that. A very, <laughs> to be, truth be told, a very almost messed it up. So I bought a, 
has bought a stud finder, which is designed to... Oh, God, Martians, they suck. I really hate this event. Really don't like it. Anyway, this stud finder thing, it's meant to find the studs in the wall. But it has, like, a handy feature where it tells you if there's a, a live wire in the wall. So, essentially, like, it stops you from potentially electrocuting yourself. Well, that's what it's designed to do. Anyway, I went to <laughs> I went to go mount this telly, and I'd, like, put the template on the wall. I'd draw it all out, like had court come and hold it so that I could get like uh, it all leveled you know I, I went all out all right I'd drawn on the white walls with a, a pencil and you know I really put in the effort anyway I'd stood finding this wall a million times I knew what to do uh, and the whole time no live wires all right so all good and then I went to do it it came up live wire and I was like right that's wrong and I realized that whenever the light was turned on it detected a, a live wire. So, obviously, I'm thinking, well, I've, I've, I've screwed this, right? I've drawn all, all over the walls, uh, these beautiful white walls, and I also can't mount the TV. So, like, great. Anyway, long story short, we had an electrician round, because he was round anyway, just doing a little bit of, like, just checking on everything. And he was like, nah, man. He was like, there ain't wires in the middle of the wall. He was like, that's, that's illegal. <laughs> he was like, they're, they're definitely not there. He was like, go for it. He's like, it's just a, just a stud finder being sensitive. And that's what it was. So I was really pleased about that. But I, was, I felt so bad. Because I tried really drawn all over these walls with this pencil. I, I'd gone for it. And obviously, like, I don't know. It's just not the thing to do. To just be like, oh, I've, I've marked the walls. And I also can't mount my TV. But yeah, mounted great. Sure, it'll be fine. I'll give you an update if it falls. <laughs> That'd be a right laugh. Oh, God. That'll be the new saga. Saga of getting the house and then the second one of destroying it potentially, you know? I wouldn't be too shocked. Right, let me get through this Martian event. Man, I, w I wish I didn't do it. <laughs> I really do. I wish I didn't do it. I thought we might be able to get something really cool. But I don't think we're going to be able to. Unless it's a, like a rare drop from a, a Martian saucer. I think we've probably seen everything we need to see from this event. Right. Thankfully, that is it for the Martian Madness. Death count. I'd say about 10 deaths, all right? That went, that was bad, all right? You know there's a problem when I'm dying like it's a Fargo soul mod. I don't know why. The Martian Madness, it, it just wrecks me. It, it's, it's the weirdest thing, because honestly, it probably ain't that hard. I like, during all of that, I did manage to catch a sheep, all right? So, there is a silver lining, all right? The, the, the farm... It gets bigger. Okay, right. So, um, oh yeah, we can make our fancy wings. I'm actually quite excited about these. So we're going from modded wings to modded wings. Something I, I do like to see. Um, oh, I didn't put my, my soldier flight in. All right, rookie error. Okay, uh, wings. Let's see. Uh, malicite wings. Okay, right. Oh, honestly, every time I read it, I want to pronounce it with uh, an S and a H. <laughs> okay, all right. So let's see. Allows flight and slow fall. Ooh. Oh, these are clearly better. Yeah, these bring me way up to the to the floating islands. I wasn't actually um, getting anywhere close. All right. So um, let's have a little look then for the cog. And then I think we'll, we'll round it up for today. If I remember right, the cog was to make some kind of new... I want to say sword, some kind of sword, something like that. But I do think we need it for for late game stuff anyway. This like special forge, so it's obviously like worth getting. This is always the best, right? If you can get Medusa and still free fall enough that you don't land, oh, it's bliss. So I here's the thing, right? We need to find one that's naturally generated, at least hopefully. Now you know me, you know my look in this let's play, the lack of natural caves and and whatnot. We're not going to find one. Let's be real here. We should almost just go and cheat it in now. It's that much of a of an unrealistic expectation that we're going to have a cog. But I am going to look around and I am going to see. So it, it is animated apparently. It's like a little, um, I think it spins, something like that. I like, it's like a little gif or a gif, depending on where you live or depending on who you are. I say gif personally. But you know, each to their own. Each to their own. We don't um, we don't discriminate around here. You know, it's GIF and GIF will not divide us. I will say that. Right. Um. Okay. So is there a, a cog? <laughs> no. I'm gonna call it a day for that one. 
I am gonna, like I say, I am gonna cheat it in. Only because I, I, I don't think I'm in the mood for fishing. I have to, like, really, really want to fish. To really, really want to fish. To be fair as well, we do have all the things for the fishing. Because we have that new, um... We have the, the little hook that you can get from the chests. That kind of makes sense, actually, why we got, um... So many hooks. <laughs> if I did pass the cog, though, let me know a time code down below, all right? Be like um, an episode of Where's Wally or Where's Waldo. Okay, right. Um, I'll go use a mod. <laughs> I'll bring it in. Right, so we have it. It's like the um, it's like the illegal bones all over again. It's the illegal cog of shame. Can be found in the underworld's domain. I I doubt that. <laughs> I doubt that very much. All right. Um. So what do we bash it with? We bash it with. Oh, there's two. There's the ancient. Oh, ah. Okay. So depending on what kind of forge you get, you get a different one. But you need um. You need a heavy workbench to make it. Do we? Do we have a heavy workbench? I'll tell you what. We do now. We do now. Right. So give me uh the forge. Let me slap that down right there. Um, let's see. Oh, you can make, you can make either or, either or. Um, I like this one. I like the blast forge. Yeah, I think that's cool. Okay, right. So dump it in there. Uh, and then it was the. I think it was the. I want to say the elements of. Would it have been the the golem ones? I I don't. Weirdly, I don't imagine it was. I want to say it was the elements of pain that we were looking at to make uh, the next thing that we wanted to make. So let's see if we can remember. It was the hard drive. That was it. I can already remember. But we need black alloys, which I don't have. Or I don't have enough of. Let's see. Bars. Uh, right, okay. So I think... I <laughs> Do I need 12 of each? All right, 15 of those. Oh, yes. Nice. We're actually going to do it. Okay. So, alloys. Um, let me double check that. 12. All right. Let's make the let's make the right amount. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to give anything more. And then we're going to make the hard drive. All right. Cool. Yeah, this is good. It's nice that we we're, we're getting to do stuff today. Um, even though the martial madness took forever. So, there we go. 102 melee damage shoots lasers in four directions uh, and I still don't think it could be stacked I think I don't think it'd be stacked does it bounce kind of bounces <laughs> it's cool I like it it's all right I wonder what it's actually like I love the oh uh, god my voice went then <laughs> I love the I love the homing schools that we have that's probably one of my favorite things we've made in the past couple days it's pretty good it is pretty good. What do you think's better? Do you think the racket's better? I think, honestly, the racket is better for the visual flair. You know? This doesn't pierce blocks. Does this pierce blocks? No. Okay, that's interesting. I kind of assumed it would. We... Oh, man, we stomped that Medusa. Let's try this again. I I honestly think you can't go wrong with either. I think I'd, I'd be... I'd truthfully be happy with both. I'm just glad that they're both, um, I'm glad that they're just both modded. Hey, the, the cloth here did die. Right, so that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, it's a little plea, I will say. Did I, did I get rid of my mirror? <laughs> we made the ultimate trade, all right? Illegal, illegal cog, lack of mirror. So is is a little plea. If you enjoyed today's episode, please do give it a big fat thumbs up. It really helps in the little YouTube algorithm. Uh, shout out, as always, to our cello members rolling by on screen right now. Um, yeah, I think tomorrow we should be back on track with a regular schedule. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. With that said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.